اوكي اوكي اني واي اسمع اوكي كول يس اوكي سو مانو سو وات وي ديسكس لاست تايم از اباوت ذس بروتراكتر كوكمبر فريم ورك از انت ريت يا اوكي سو ام اي ثينك اس بير اور ديسكشن ليت مي اوبن ذا نوتس ام ايديلي وي نيد تو ستارت وذ ذا كومبليت سيت اب so setup is one of the part of the thing which we need to discuss uh, discuss and today we will be mostly discussing about those things like how to set up the framework and uh, what kind of reports that we can expect and those kind of things okay okay so um so again javascript point of view hope uh, um you might had taken some uh, uh, time to ஜாவாஸ்கிரிப்ட் because yeah. we, are, we are not uh, developers so at least the basic um, basic understanding how it works and a little bit of navigation and stuff if you know then that should be fine okay okay so thing is um so let me just take the class notes so that like we will be have one one notes throughout the session i'm just trying to take um, take the notes document the javascript automation yeah. okay um okay i think this what we discussed other day okay yeah so the thing is yeah so we, we just discussed about the coding and configuration and all this things okay cool so just to, to reiterate right so just uh, we discussed about difference between java and javascript um mm-hmm. and we discussed about that um, in java we got jvm and we javascript we got node node is a full platform yeah to install node in mac or windows we need to use a uh, uh, brew so we need to use brew to install node okay okay so are you using mac or windows uh mac uses okay perfect nice so it, it the i think brew will be already by default so oh. if you need to use a brew, brew install mode then it will install mode okay uh, similarly uh, we have to use the npm which is nothing but the actual dependency manager which okay. will wrap all the dependencies for us and uh, apart from that we use j, j unit Uh, sorry mm-hmm. in java and similarly in in uh, javascript we use jasmine is for um, actual annotations and uh, mocha we use for the actual test execution like a test suite and test cases uh, we have mocha to do that okay so jasmine is like j unit yeah and and mocha is annotations mocha is for annotations like it and describe we will go in that but it will it will give a framework for us okay okay so yeah. then web driver will be our uh, actual uh, uh, tool which interacts with the browser okay so like that in javascript we got protractor nightwatch web driver io wd and code set we got few and these are the few things that we that are most popular in the market okay okay um yeah so i'm coming to assertions uh, again apart from jasmine we can you still use chai and uh, uh, and also we got javascript default assertions which we can use okay okay just a high level okay so i will definitely will go through all these things but just a high level this is the tools that we will be using okay okay so basically then to start with we need to install these few things npm and node okay followed by we need to download okay again after this step is done we have to once we down npm then we need to download any uh, boilerplate 
uh, we don't need to create from scratch, but we need to download any boiler plate. Okay. Okay, plate framework. Any, so it's any, like a skeleton framework, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a skeleton framework. Anything we can do, we can take. But uh, okay. but just uh, we need to start with boiler plate, and then that boiler plate we need to watch out for package dot JSON. Okay. Okay, and if you see here, you can see that uh, there is a package dot JSON here. Okay, and see that this package dot JSON have all this uh, things. Okay, I'll just reduce this font size. In a second. Okay, so we don't need to worry about Java here, but we need to. Use Editor. Mm. There is something called theme will be there. Take it. Okay, I think now now I will just make it in default. Okay, I just want to make sure that the fonts and everything are properly operate. Okay. Okay, so if it is putting it to default, Dracula, then it is coming as a proper font. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's okay, right? I mean, for you. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, again, and you can see that there is a lot of. Um, uh, so this is a package package JSON, and in this, we got all these frameworks. Okay. okay. Uh, so yeah, just if you go to dependencies, you can see that this is how we actually get the dependencies. Okay, so I just want to uh, go in depth here. Um, so, example, if you want to add a new package, example, somebody said that why don't we use WebDriver IO for this project? Okay. So, somebody said we have to use a new package. Then, oh. normally, what you have to do is there is a website called npmjs.com. Uh -huh. and, and here, this is the way where the, all the repositories will be sitting. Okay. So see, WebDriver IO is different. Protractor is different. Protractor is like a Selenium, and WebDriver IO is also like also like a Selenium. Okay. Okay, but but then there are different tools. Is yeah, it? there are different libraries which comes from. Okay. Okay, and they have their own uh, APIs, so documentation, and stuff. Okay. Okay, and you can see that now it is 4.8.0 is the latest. So to get this package, you just need to put your web driver IO and then put uh, this uh, web version. Okay, then if you do this, and then you need to follow by writing uh, command, typing the command npm install. Mm -hmm. so npm install is the is a is command which will download the repository and put it into your library. Okay. Okay. So yeah, similar to that, we have other frameworks and all we discussed. Um, so yeah, so so I mean, thing is, yeah, it is a type language which is very easy to write. Um, so it it got functions and it got classes. Okay. Yeah. So today we will discuss a little bit about functions and classes. Okay. Okay. Um, so other things that we discussed is. Uh, a lot of advanced things that we can do. We can do configuration, um, um, and we can do npm scripts, tools, declaring driver objects, driver. So yeah, this is the part of configuration. So the first few things that we have to do in a framework is we need to provide all these things like pro profiling, npm scripts, tools, declaring uh, what where is the driver object, and defining the reports, defining the folder structure. So this is the basic things that we have to do when we are starting a project. 
okay and then actual coding and then finally uh, we discuss that we will, we will use this framework so that is where we end our class class yeah okay so now what we will do is let us discuss a little bit more about uh, let us go in depth okay so mm -hmm. what I will do today is let us uh, take the code directly and let us do some modifications let us see what exactly is happening here okay, okay. so if you see this we got a uh, we got this uh, package dot uh, uh, json so right, right now this is the typical way any project in a real real uh, world will look like so they got a main project which got both development and test code uh -huh. so the development code is here in library okay okay so uh, yeah it got it got development code as well as it got a test code so basically what we will be uh, doing is we will first read what exactly is this configuration file and how it what are the important parts of this configuration file Okay, so this yeah. con. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this configuration file. If you see this, uh, if you see this, basically here I need to tell you the important bits is the main thing is this. This is the dependencies. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we got so we get so we can do lot of things. But what this guy had done is he had created few commands which are re reusable commands. Okay. Means if I thing is now this is all npm world. This uh -huh. script is nothing but this script this keyword will work when I had gone to a terminal. Let me go into terminal. Okay. So this is all about command line, right? Yeah. So what I will do is I will go to my folder. Uh, talking about okay. Now, if you see this, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I can't hear you. Hello. 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 Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Okay. So now what I'm saying is see, this. Importantly, you have to understand that mm -hmm. to run any project there are two ways to do it okay okay to run any project there, there are two ways to do it one is so today's today's class um, details about the framework okay so today is the class the so first thing that we are learning today is uh, reading we are reading our package.json file okay in this package.json file, what the things which are very important are dependencies. Okay, and to add any dependencies, you need to go to your npm uh, js.com and you need to search for for your library. Okay, and version which we already just did. Okay, now second thing is your scripts. So while what I'm talking about scripts is normally whenever whenever you download your uh, dependencies, they themselves also will be in a runnable mode. Okay. Means the tools like Mocha, WebDriver, IO, uh, and Nightwatch. So they whatever you take, they themselves are runnable tools. Okay means there are two kind of tools one is runnable tools and one is so one is runnable tools one is non runnable runnable is nothing but example if i type mocha because you know mocha is already there with me right uh -huh. okay so mocha is your actual uh, test uh, runner as well as complete it will manage your complete structure so mocha you can see that it is it is already there in the dependency okay Okay, uh, okay, so it's a dependency and uh, libraries are there already in the project. Yeah, yeah. So okay. if I, yeah. So let me open the main project. Um, 
So there are two closet levels here. Let me just uh, open this. Uh, Dev and JS. Okay, you can see that. Okay. So that was it. And this is where we got our stuff. Okay. Yeah, so this is where we got our thing. So, so now Mocha is one of the runner. So what I can do is if I just run Mocha, so now itself you can see that there's something it is trying to run. Okay. Means it is like Java. So Mocha is like a runner. You can you can run something. So now the things are not running because of few other things. But mm -hmm. if I type Mocha also things are running. Okay. Okay. Means you can see that. To run any automation test, either you can use the actual runnable command like web driver, web info, web driver IO, we use WDIO is a command. Yeah. Okay, and for mocha, we use mocha is a command itself. So we, if you type mocha, what happens is it reads all the mocha tests inside the framework and run them straight away. Okay. Okay, so it so now it is what happening literally is you can see that it is running some tests. Yes. Yeah. Okay, because it is thinking yes, everything is ready. So that is what is happening. Okay. Okay. However, the problem is sometimes it works, sometimes mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Okay. Why? Because sometimes, say example, we need to set up an Selenium standalone server. So we need to run the server. So if you see that now, this uh, uh, we need to run a Selenium s server. Then only we should be able to run the mocker tests. Okay. Means there is some dependency. I mean the thing is that uh, I mean we cannot straight away uh, run the mocha, but there is there is some dependencies that we need to run. Okay. So those kind of things, I mean those kind of things what happens is you can make a script by yourself in the mm -hmm. uh, package.json okay. means what I am doing here is I am just saying that see if I do mocha test now instead of mocha if you see properly I will just run npm run then the keyword which I had given here okay so what test. are yeah, so what are the available keywords here? Test. Mm -hmm. Web driver. Mm -hmm. Start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like that we got right. So if you see that start is a command which will run the application. Yeah. Okay. So so I can run through this. This is also one of the command. If I run also, if I do this, the server will run. Okay, see. That is the magic of NPM. Okay, if I do this. You can see that oh. node and that server is running right now. Okay. Okay. But to just give a shortcut, mm -hmm. what I can do if you see that the same thing I am doing, but I am just doing npm run start. Uh -huh. That is exactly equal to the command that I have which I run few minutes back. Okay. Okay. So now I, my command is my application is running. Now, now you tell me which command I need to run to run my test cases. I think it's test. Yes, no? you are absolutely right. It's test. Okay. Let's see that what happens now. Now it actually will start your mocha, and typically it will go to spec dot js. Okay, so it is like. In mocha also it is specifying that which test you have, you have to run okay okay you can see that it has some timeout and other things it was set, setting okay drc is timeout and all okay and mm -hmm. now we can see that the actual test starts okay okay but however why it is not running is because your web driver is not there you can see that you know here web driver mm -hmm. is not here okay what we will do is we will stop this we will open one more command and we will simply run npm run webdriver 
See, they're the same, they're just a keyword. I'm not using inside that there's a big script to run the Selenium server, okay? Mm -hmm. So, this line, this, this is a command line which is used to run your Selenium standalone server, okay? Okay, okay. Now it's okay. So, just we need to be waiting for the Selenium server to run. Now, if I run the same npm run test, see what happens. Okay, now it will uh, go and so application is running now and your Selenium server is ready. So, okay. Nothing else, I mean, uh, ideally, the, the test should work, should work, okay, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So, means it, which test will run is, it will expect dot we will go into that, but we are just in the configuration mode, okay. Okay. Okay, now you can see that the tests are running, right? Yeah. Okay, which is, you know, which is nothing but everything is running by the tool, but we made it a little bit simple by taking the hard work of writing a lot of command lines every time we made it shortcuts so that we can just run npm the shortcut and it will run the whatever the intended uh, task is supposed to be run okay okay yeah okay and forgot about this pre-test and linting and all okay they are like you don't need to worry about it okay don't worry about these two commands Okay, can, oh. you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So, linting is nothing but it's syntax secure. You don't need to worry about that yourself. Okay. okay. So, it is like, you know, syntax for uh, developers, but you don't need to worry about that. Okay. So, before we start running the test, we have to start the web driver server. Mm, yes. With yes. the command uh, npm web driver. npm run web driver. Yes, yes. And then we have to say npm run test yeah. to run the test, actual test. Yeah. Okay. So, see, depending upon company, what kind of command, how they will write the commands. Okay. Um, but ideally, you need to make sure that your application is running and your web driver is running before you run your test. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in your in your company maybe they have different command maybe they will send they will tell npm run dev or npm run release okay okay so they may be different but uh, you just need to watch out that in your application before you your test the application is up and running oh. okay Okay, npm run that is the way they had modified it. Okay. Oh. Npm run test. But if you if you want, you can modify them also. There's no rule. Okay. Okay. If you say no, sir, uh, I'm not comfortable with writing test. I'm little bit uh, what is called uh, lazy. Then you can put like this. Then you no need to run npm test. You can just say npm run t. Okay. Means you are you can configure your own uh, scripts. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so now coming to the next thing is um, okay. So yeah, I mean there are some other advanced things, but you don't need to worry about the pre uh, description sound all. Okay. Okay. So now coming to our uh, actual tests. Okay. Mm hmm. See, if you see this, what this guy is running, he is running test blah 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 specs.js. So, any okay. specs.js is a test okay. file. Oh, okay. 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 So, he got cucumber spec 1, cucumber spec 2, all these things he got. Okay. Let us see what was there. Okay. So, if you see that cucumber spec 1 is one test suit. Okay, so what he is running is, I think he is, uh, let me just think what he is running because I am also new like you. Uh, okay. Uh, test report, some sort of thing. Test that, maybe his application, 
this is cucumber okay so we got some cucumber so, okay so here he got some cucumber stuff definitions okay so he want to pretend to have some kind of so, okay so he got a feature files here okay so he he implemented bdd also okay okay hmm. Cucumber one dot two, cucumber two dot three. So I mean, two step definitions. Okay, so I'm going to see the step definitions. Okay, so he used cucumber ideally. Um, uh, actually, um, you said this was cucumber and uh, protractor framework, right? But then, how come we are using this Selenium standalone server for this? Oh, a very good question. See, this protractor is a Selenium client client application or oh. the client part of it. Okay. See, all these tools that we are talking about are replacement of your client side of your code. Means okay. client side means the actual scripting side. Um, means if you go to i think a little bit basic this is basic but this is a nice question actually so we we still need selenium mm -hmm. as our server okay okay so um let me show you a very important figure till you understand that that is the whole uh, whole selenium architecture you need to understand that so, uh, web driver here, uh, the standalone server we are talking about, is this web driver IO or it's a different standalone server? Okay, I'm coming to that the, how to answer all your questions. <laughs> okay, so you need to understand the architecture. Okay, so this is the way it works. Okay, so we always have three components, and the last one is the browser. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Selenium is always will work with three tier architecture. Okay. How it works is you need to have a Selenium server. Yeah. Selenium server, you need to have Selenium server, mm. and you need to have the actual Chrome driver or what are the drivers it is. Yeah. Chrome driver. And you need to have a Selenium server, okay? Okay. That is standard. Okay. And what we are talking right now, the protractor, web driver IO, and your Nightwatch, and your uh, Java, PHP, C Sharp, B Hat, Ruby, they're all are the languages which we can use which which you can use and we can send so that will send the inputs to selenium server okay okay right but then protractor is not by itself a language protractor is one of the client side tool which is used to write your code in for angular and all this kind of things however that is also a tool which how to go to selenium server put a request then only selenium server will go to the chrome driver then it will go to the actual uh, browser okay okay see yeah. here so you can see yeah. here right so php python c sharp any language you use any language you use any tool you use no problem at all okay okay they are all like a client uh, scripting uh, client side scripting part of your selenium but all this how to definitely contact your selenium web driver server okay okay so that is the reason why if you go to this downloads mm -hmm. you can see that you have two different selenium standard standard server this is the main heart of selenium okay yeah okay so that is different now he can see client selenium client then mm -hmm. here you we can use either java you can use javascript so this is all the client side part of your uh, selenium okay 
Okay, so that's the reason why protractor, even though we are using protractor, but still that protractor is nothing but it is a client side part of your application, but still your selenium selenium standalone server should work. Okay. So this is your standalone server, see? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So okay. So now coming back to your cucumber. Uh, so what this this guy did is he actually created cucumber. He got some stuff. I am cucumber with protractor. It should still do normal tests. I should expose the correct global variables. I go to index. And the title should be equal to my English. So this is what we have, we, we have to test, right? Example, this okay. test. Okay. Yeah. So example, if I put this as some. Okay. So let, I'm just want to see uh, how the code. So we I'm trying to understand the whole project that he created. Okay. Okay. So what uh, simple is whenever you got your uh, cucumber. So again, cucumber is. Cucumber or Cucumber JS and Cucumber also supports your uh, stepper definition and all these things in JavaScript world. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so if we go to this Cucumber feature, uh, I go on, blah blah blah. So I need to check for I go on. You can see that this is there, right? This is the step. Okay, so yeah. now you can ask me how it this all coming up. This is this is how coming up is nothing but um, this is the actual Java code. Okay, uh, JavaScript code. So uh, how the whole architecture is working is nothing but uh, this given when then so you can see that this given when then and yeah. they're all um, this dot given when then they're all coming okay so from the from where they are coming they are coming from this uh, not chai not this all chai chai as promised not this one they are coming from cucumber okay okay so they're all coming from cucumber so where is that cucumber enabled let us see if you got something like a utilities okay because i'm just uh, waiting for this uh, multi configuration just one second okay uh, cucumber configuration and environment configuration they're all uh, there are a lot of configuration files okay so required and see this is like required environment dot js so there is something file called environment dot js okay so what i'm yeah so what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to look back and see how the whole architecture is present okay uh, let environment dot js yes this is the file okay nice okay so this is the file where the actual test is being started okay this is very nice i think i, I will write down everything from starting from where it starts okay okay this is very nice and it is going to index.js so where is this index.js uh, index.js index.js yes here it is going okay index.js is debug plus cucumber loader relative to global path temporary cucumber loader cucumber loader dot load cucumber version major version see the cucumber okay that's fine it is using and it's good executor and our test case through cucumber and another current protractor and this is all set up you don't need to do all these things i'm just reading in the cell setup okay okay so what he did is simply he is running done blah 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 cucumber.js here is where he is doing okay and he is actually running the whole test okay very nice cool so what is happening is so index.js is the first file which is getting executed okay so this uh, this file which is getting executed so this is this have a link with one file called your environment.js okay so this is the this is the place where the actual selenium uh, configuration is set okay okay so you can see that the default uh, web server or default this is like a applications web server port um, okay. 
and then this is your selenium url and uh, uh, like specs path so where did where the specs so this is the configuration file so this is a test configuration file okay, okay. and okay. Uh, it this is where the whole whole uh, settings like you know capabilities and um, your browser name everything you can put it here okay, okay. it's like configured java we have in the config file yeah it's a config file Okay, JavaScript for almost all the JavaScript frameworks, you should have a config file. Okay. Okay, which includes your source labs, connector connection, and your and your reports, and your Selenium server. Okay. So it got all the configurations. So that should be there in a separate file. Okay. Okay. So on Java, basically Java, Cucumber, and all they don't have any configuration file. We can have if you want, we can put it otherwise. We can hard code it, but here mm -hmm. in JavaScript, we should definitely have a configuration file. Okay. Okay. Um, so, you know, the problem is right now we are with Protractor. Mm -hmm. So, Protractor itself will not provide any configuration. Okay. Okay. So, we are now in, in Protractor. So, Protractor itself is not a it's just a tool which will interact with your browser. Okay. So there's no config. Mm -hmm. Try to understand. However, in your Nightwatch, there is a config file called nightwatch.js. Okay. Okay, in web driver I go. There is something called WDI config. Okay. Means normally wdio config so normally every tool will provide a config file okay but because in protractor we there is no config file and also we are using cucumber that is the reason why we had created our own user config. defined config file mm -hmm. so in java script anything you can do so here simply is protractor there is no config file. That is why this guy had created his own environment.js. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then that is yeah, that's fine. I mean, he created this, so he created everything, uh, all the settings he had created here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he is nothing but he created a class file, and then he is actually created them as a variables. So it is nothing but if you can see that this is nothing but he is, he created a JSON file with some parameters okay okay so framework is called custom framework path is called this so it's like a name value pair and he has created some complex way of uh, putting everything here okay oh okay so now let us see what happens after that okay so once it is in environment choice it reads all the config on the environments okay then um so it is requiring this so what it does is Configure object as an environment which is okay. Cucumber options. So, this is a place where he is providing cucumber options. Okay, okay you, you know cucumber options, right? Like, you know, in Java, we got that run file. Yeah, okay. Runner, uh, usually, cucumber runner has this uh, yeah. options, right? Yeah, cucumber options. Okay, so in our framework, what he did is. Uh, Okay, so what in our video in our framework and dot yes. okay, is okay equal to config file config yeah and this uh, cucumber config dot js is equal to cucumber configuration okay okay he's just separating it make the things easy. So here he is using Mocha and Cucumber uh, options as well. Yeah, see, we, we can use anything to run. No, no, okay. Cuc Cucumber is not a runner. Cucumber is just for the stub definitions and all these things. Yeah, yeah, but and but then in Cucumber framework we have Cucumber runner where we use Cucumber options, right? Um, in Java, right? 
Yeah, in Java we have cucumber options where we can run all those uh, step definition. I mean, I mean feature files. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Similarly, so here, see, mocha is different. Okay. So because in okay. in Java, what happened? We we will we will not run with cucumber. We will run with Maven test or JUnit. JUnit, yeah. Right. That. Yeah. So similarly, JUnit is equal to mocha here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so, so anything declared in the cucumber options, we will run all those using Mocha. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that cucumber options is there. In this cucumber options, what he did is he said that cucumber step definition is in this folder. Okay. Okay, so it is nothing but you know step definitions, and he actually saying that for my this this configuration, if somebody is running this configuration, then this yeah. will happen. This yeah. is your step definition. Okay. And this is your tags, and there is no colors. Okay. Okay. So if we just run this cucumber one configuration.js, yeah. 